microphone. We don't need to have a tussle right now. We've already had enough of a tussle today. Freaking, I feel like everybody cut me off while I was out driving today. It was wonderful. And by wonderful, I mean I wanted to murder someone. Fucked I am today. Gonna lie, I am kind of looking forward to playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. I almost started it the other night. Oh, you son of a bitch! Seriously. Just give me a hot minute and I will start playing some Fini Fantasy 7 This is the fun, gl glamorous shit that I do every night when I get home after work. I have to log everything. I don't have to log everything, but my m meticulous brain's like, you have to log everything. So I log how many miles I did, and how, many, how much money I need, and my expense for the day, and none of you fucking care, so let's just move on. Also, this is Prelude. It happens at the beginning of every Final Fantasy game ever! Test. Put it back in my ear. Put it back in my ear. Thank you. Alright, let's go. It's been a while. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so...
Ah yes, I'm ridiculously overpowered. I nearly forgot. Alright, so the last few streams I've been, like, doing a lot of grinding. I am at a point right now that I don't have to grind, so we're not going to grind. I may put Sid in my party, and I might try to gr grind. Um... His limit breaks but long time to see boy you like that hmm can you let me borrow this it's not for rent since you've been good in the past you can only have it in one condition <laughs> entertain me it's the battery to show me your fighting skills asshole I don't know why I had Dio call me an asshole. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Cool. Fuck it, we'll do it the right way. Alright, so this is the battle arena. Um... This is where you get... You can get some really good shit. Half speed. Awesome. I might be overpowered enough that I can probably just win. Do I have an antidote? I do. Um, can you, can you, no touchy. No, ow. You touchy. I don't appreciate you touching me. Actually, I have trying. I should use that. That was dumb. Cool. Thank you for hitting me with Descends. Oh, I think I put the death thing on him. That's right. I ain't winning this. Okay, so that doesn't matter. You didn't say how good I had to be, sir. Alright, now the question is, do I want to sit here and grind? SHIT! <clears throat> I think I did the same exact fucking thing. Um... The last time I was here. Alright, so if you went around the world, um, you could figure out that the, the keystone for the Temple of the Ancients is here, which is why we're here. Once you come here, you can see that it's there, and then grab it. And the minute you try to leave, the tram is out of order. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. We can't leave! Oh, we can stay at the hotel. <laughs> so basically, we go to the hotel. And then we have a little bit of a plot dump. We only usually, uh, we don't usually get the chance to be together like this. Ah, but can you tell me how it happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here at the beginning. Yeah, I'm for that. Good idea. Yeah, the, th the three that just answered. Um, if Vincent's in your party, he will say something. Sid will say something because obviously he's new. And you're going to get him no matter what. And then she is an asshole, but you know. I mean, it's the beginning. I still don't know what the fuck's going on. Cloud, what's going on? All right, I'll try. We're going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the Promised Land. A land full of Mako energy. Or at least that's what Shinra believes. I don't know if it actually exists. Cetra's return to the Promised Land. A land that promises boundless happiness. Etc. That kind of some kind of disease? That's what the ancients call themselves. Didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Then you just know that you found it. Earth, can you feel it too? I think so. So Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land. Is that it? He's searching for that and one other thing. Black materia. 
heard from Dia that a man in the black cape was looking for the black materia. I have never heard of black materia. How many men with black capes and number tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How'd you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. So at least 13? You know. I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes. But I don't know what it, was, uh, it has to do with the Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should go out to Sephiroth himself. Yeah, too. Yeah, me too. It's all too tamed and confusing. And? I'm sorry for getting it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed. What was that all of a sudden? I'm going to bed. Is that all? How about the black materia? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now we gotta just take action. We're starting tomorrow. I am number 13. Am I gonna go mad too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far. But be strong. But I... Stop it, Nanaki! Be strong. Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried. But I don't know what's going on. We're in a bad situation. Hey Sid, let's go back to our rooms. <laughs> Sid's already asleep. Alright. So, I mentioned earlier that there was a point to all the um, choices, and here's the result. What's wrong? Let's go on a date. A date! Or haven't you gone, have you, haven't you ever gone on one? <laughs> well, not a real one. No, just a mixed up kid. Oh well, come on, let's go. Hey! So I got Aerith. I think playing this game, I think I've gotten all three at least once. So, you can get Tifa, Aer oh sorry, there's four. There's a fourth one. I never get the fourth one, though. No. Um, there's Aerith, Tifa, and Barret are the three main ones that you can get a date on. You can actually go on a bromance date with Barret. It's kind of cute. Um, you can also get Yuffie, randomly. But getting Yuffie, probably the hardest one. It's also the funniest she tries to mac it with you it's nice such enchantment night all attractions are free how about you two there's an edit going on it's gonna be an entertaining show in the event square all right let's go we don't have a choice congratulations you are a hundredth couple tonight you two will play the leads in tonight's show <laughs> oh, what the fuck <laughs> just play it however you want and the rest of the cast will cover for you this way. This sounds like fun. Come on, Cloud, let's do it. And yes, if Barrett is your date, the two of you will be a couple. An evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galvia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped by the evil dragon king, Valvados. Excuse me, what will we come for? Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. Yay! Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. Hey, it's your line. Yeah, you. Ahem. Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred. By my soul, please, please save Princess Rosa. Now please talk to the king. Oh, legendary Alfred, you have come to save my beloved Rosa. On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil dragon king, Falvados, who kidnapped Princess Rosa. But you can't beat the evil Dragon King now. Talk to one who can help you. I like over dramatizing it. It's great. Um, let's talk to Bizard the Wizard. I am the great Wizard Vorman. What do you wish to know? <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it straight. Ah, the weakness of the evil Dragon King. It must be, it must be, it must be true love. Does this mean I have to make love to the dragon? Because that's disgusting. The power of love is the only weapon that can withstand the fangs of the evil dragon king. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look!
I love how it's just EVK. They don't even fucking spell it out. Gah! I am the evil dragon king, Valphados. I have not harmed the princess. I've been expecting you. <sighs> Please help me, legendary hero. How was that? Gah, here I come, legendary hero, Alfred. I already know your name. And now, legendary hero, here is what happened to your beloved. A kiss, the power of true love. <laughs> I love how I give the option. Um, you know, I think I go silly most of the time. I think I'm gonna kiss Aerith this time. Why not? Cloud, I mean, Alfred. Our curses, the power of love! His feet are still on the screen. Love has triumphed. Now let's all return and celebrate. Yes. Oh, how profound the power of love. And so the legendary hero Alfred and our story live on. And our story live on happily ever. Perfect. No, oh, that was fun. Let's go to the gondola. please <laughs> here you are two tickets enjoy the sights of gold saucer oh how nice yeah you can't times three the cutscenes though which is fine I wouldn't want it anyway these cutscenes are great Yes, you can control cloud during this whole thing, and it's hilarious. Beautiful, isn't it? First off, it bothered me how exactly you looked, how you looked exactly alike. Two completely different people, but it looked exactly the same. The way you walk, gesture, I think I must have seen them again in you. But you're different. Things are different. Cloud, I'm searching for you. I want to meet you, but I'm right here. I know, I know. What I mean is, you're living a lie. I want to meet you. <laughs> Excuse me. I had fun tonight. Let's do it again. Don't you like being with me? That's not it. I'm glad. Next time we come, let's take our time and go on more rides. We'll get the time. We better get going. <sighs> That's the only um, bad thing about me sneezing. I love sneezing. So this is weird. I love sneezing. However, the minute I sneeze, my nose fills up. Ah. How the fuck did you get the keystone? Hey, bitch! Yes, you're supposed to follow. Just 
follow him. And this is the end of the line right here. Oh. And no, you cannot catch him. Well done. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Wait a second, I won't run or hide. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. I trusted you. I can't believe you. Couldn't help it. How about if we go on like nothing ever happened? No, I cat. You can get the fuck out of here. Then what are you going to do? Kill me? Just wasting your time if you tried the spies just a toy anyway. My real body is in Shinra H uh, HQ. In Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from there. So you're from Shinra. Who? Who are you? Tell me. Oh, I can't tell you my name. We're not getting anywhere. See, I told you. Talking won't do any good. So can we, can't we? we just continue our journey? You think I'm joking? All right, yes, I'm a Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. It's, I think it's the way of your life. You don't get paid. You, uh, your way of life. You don't get praised yet. You still risk your lives and continue on your journey. Something that makes me... Just makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now. And so on and so on. He'll never tell the truth. Once a spy, always a spy. You can't go on with someone like that. Come on, get real. Just as I thought. Talking won't make a bit of difference. But I prepared something in case this happened. Why don't you listen to this? <laughs> Papa? Tifa? Hey, that's Marlene. It's the flower lady. Flower lady! So you have to do as I say. You're the lowest fucking piece of shit. I want to do this using dirty tricks and taking hostages. But this is how it is. No compromises. So why don't we go on as we did? Tomorrow is the Temple of the Ancients, right? I know where it is, so I'll tell you later. Of course, we have to get there. We'll have to get there after the Shinra. But you'll have to deal with that. We're stuck. We have to do what he says. I wonder if Marlene's on right. I wonder what happened to Mom. I know who catch she is. I know. Open this. Get an elixir. What well, took you so long, Cloud? Oh yeah, about the Temple of the Ancients. I think if we take the tiny Bronco east toward the sea, we should be able to find it. Should we get going? I'm gonna go. I'm going for sure. Yeah, so you have to take Aerith no matter what. Um... What do I want to take? I guess we'll take Barrett. Um, is that who I had equipped with everything? It is. Alright, I really think I should probably... actually equip my shit the way I want it to. So we're gonna give you that and that. And then we're gonna do ice lightning. Actually, um 
I'm wondering. Now that I'm thinking about it, actually, I am gonna give Cloud his better weapon. Um, But, um, yeah, we'll do that. Do they have better weapons? Not really. Alright, All right, let's get out of here. How much skill do I have? Enough. Much better at the real thing. I just want to get 10. That's all I want to do. All right, fuck this. We're doing it the easy way. <laughs> We're going to cheese it. It's not like I don't have enough money. <laughs> Because you can go to Death Beach. I thought there was a way to. Fucking rigged. It's rigged. Rigged.
one one thousand. One one thousand. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. One one thousand. One one thousand. Game, we're gonna have words. He's on fire! Now I want to play NBA Jam. I was wondering when I was going to fuck it. I fucked it. Hard. And long. The game was not meant to be run at three times speed when you're trying to go into a precise spot. Me. I should have saved that. That was dumb. Oh, cool. Thing I don't use summon material. Game. Game. Hot. Not that I need it. That, not that I needed it. Motherfucking hit me with his cock. His peacock. Why? Every time. I wonder. <laughs> I cheated. I cheated. I'm a dirty cheater. I don't care. I'm a dirty cheater. This grind so much easier. Obviously, as you can see, if you're actually doing this legitimately, it is kind of difficult. You're going to be here a while. Cool. Oh. That didn't work. Is that going to work? You feels fury. So do I, bitch. Okay, now that I can actually fucking look at this. Omni Slash is five thousand uh, fifty one thousand. The other one that's here that's worth it, preemptive. Um, I think the championship belt is worth it too. Here you you lose all your bad ones. Okay. 
case, then. Because the minute you leave, you get zero. Alright, um, fuck. I don't want to fucking grind here. One five five six or one six. Oh, oh, no, go, 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 do it, do it, yes, no, no, six, you're a fucker. Six, you're a fair, you're a big, giant fucker. That's what you are. You fuckers. All right, we'll try it again. We're going to be here quite a bit later if I decide to do that. Which I'm still on the fence about doing. That's not till later, though. That is not until much later. That was not any of the ones I chose. Thanks, game. time So here's the thing. I think what they expect you to do is later on when you're chocobo fucking, um, that's when you get all the, like, um, GP and then you use it at Battle Square. Did I win? I did not win. You suck. You fuck this place. Fuck this place. Um, let's get out of here. Oh, shit, I used it. I walked away and I... Oh, fuck this place. I'm out of here. Fuck this place. You're just fucking me like everybody today. I love it.
There we go. Alright, um... Where did I leave the tiny Bronco? Is a good question. I don't remember. <laughs> I see it. All right, I always forget where to go. Every time, I always forget to where to go. All right, so there's a couple things you can actually do here if you wanted to. You can actually go to Wutai and do the Wutai sidetrack, but since I don't care, I've changed my mind about limit breaks. I think I'm probably only going to get, I'm, I might just get Clouds, Barretts, and Tifas. Um, the only one that's going to cause a lot of trouble. Well, not cause a lot of trouble, but... Is going to be the heaviest is probably cloud it's the temple of the ancients i know it. i feel it the knowledge of the ancients floating you become one with the planet but you're stopping it with the strength of will for the future for us what are you saying do you understand you're unhappy no you're uneasy but happy because i'm here i'm sorry i don't understand i want to go inside no shame there's also a, a clone Black material. Look. It says number nine. He has a tattoo on his neck. <laughs> Yeet. Hey, it's Sang. Sang? Of the Turks? Oh, I've been tricked. It's not the promised land Sephiroth's looking for. Sephiroth, he's inside. Look for yourself. Damn. Letting Aerith go was the start of my bad luck. President was wrong. You're wrong. The promised land isn't what you imagined. And I'm not going to help. Either way, there was no way Shinra could have won. Pretty harsh. Sounds like something you'd say. Keystone, place it on the altar. You crying? Sings with our enemy, the Turks, but I've known him since we were little. Not a lot of people I can say that about. In fact, it's probably only a handful of people in the world who really know me. We go. All right, so we will let a few battles take place, but I'll probably turn uh, random encounters off for a little bit. Words, feelings, so many of them here. Damn, so this is the Temple of the Ancients? Man, you gotta be kidding. This is making me dizzy. You know what else is making me dizzy? Well, it's not making me dizzy, but Jesus Christ. I know it's going to be tough, but don't give up. We can do it. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's a ribbon in here, actually. I'll use a big boy. Oh, yes. Great gospel. The thing you don't get to see very often in this game. Sit item. You are a Durgan.
gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen Bio. Bio 2. Turbo Ether. Mine Source. Num Num. Finally caught up to you. Sorry you waited for me. These are the spirit bodies of the ancients. They've been away from the planet for a long time to protect it. Uh, this temple. For many years, they lost their ability to talk. Actually, they didn't need words from the beginning because they're only one objective for those left in the temple. Please talk to me. No, I don't understand the rest. Are you afraid? It's because Sephiroth in the temple or something else? <laughs> Ribbon? Silver rifle. That is a Vincent item. Actually, I think he is a... Yeah. Secondary save, I guess. Just in case. But I don't foresee it being an issue. Oh, you ugly. Liquid poison. Ah, those 64 bit sounds. That is a Barrett item? With no materia slots. Oh, I learned Frog Song. Even better. Fuck you, trying to turn my frog into stone. Piece of shit. This part. This part's fun. We are going to go there anyway, but crap. Morph. Which I believe is the one that, that does frog and toad. All we have to do is make it to the end. Going alright? That was rough. Oh no, Cloud, come quick. Hurry this way. Full of the knowledge of the ancients. The knowledge, consciousness, a living soul. It's trying to say something. Sorry, I don't understand. What? What is it? Danger, an evil consciousness. A show? You're gonna show me? What's going on? Wait, look, it's showing us. It's saying, what's this? Can we f find the promised land with this? I wonder. Anyway, we have to report to the president. Be careful, saying. Lena, how about some dinner after the job's over? Th thank you very much. If I may be excused. What could possibly go wrong? Is this the promised land? No, it can't be.
Hold on a second. Sephiroth, you've been sitting there for like a five five minutes. So you open the door. Well done. This place, what is it? The lost treasure house of knowledge, the wisdom of the ancients. I'm becoming one with the planet. One with the planet. Stupid fools! You never even thought about it. All the spirit energy of this planet, all its wisdom, knowledge, I'll meld with it all. I'll become one with it. I will become. It will become one with me. You can do that. The way lies here. Only a death awaits. You, only death awaits you all. But do not fear, for it is through death that this spirit energy is born. Soon you will live again as part of me. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Where's the room with the pictures on the wall? Almost there. Sephiroth is here, right? No matter what he thinks, it's gonna end here. I'm taking him out. I mean, we are. I love how he's taking a bath in the spirit energy at that point. So I'm going to do, um, so you do want to avoid the second hand. This is the exit. So we do want to, we do want to, um, come back for that later. Now it doesn't make sense. For this to occur it doesn't make sense to get your ass knocked off but get your ass knocked off because if you do you fall down come down here Um, excuse me? Um, you can fuck right off then. You didn't die? Why didn't you die? The nail bat. It legitimately is a baseball bat with a bunch of nails on it.
And if you played the remake, it is also in that, and it is pretty cool. I do tend to go in every door because there are some that have treasure chests. Some do have um, enemies. Turn me to a frog before I can do my limit break. It, it, you cannot tell. Um, what each thing is going to be, but, I mean, doesn't matter. Oh, we can't go into. If I'm not mistaken, I think six is where we need to go. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like that is her ultimate weapon. Obviously, we're getting there. We're getting to. We're getting to it. It's gonna happen tonight. I think that's where we might end the stream tonight. Perfect. That's a prep. That's a ribbon. Yep. <sighs> Ribbons are fucking amazing. They protect you from all status effects. <clears throat> yep. Okay, it's locked. Let's catch it. Yeah, just hanging there. So good in the hard days. That's where we need to go, but we're gonna go check the other doors. Uh, go back in time. Can I make it? I can. All right. Trumpet shell, I believe, is the joke item for Catchy. I wouldn't know. I never fucking use the guy because he sucks! Luckily. It's easy to do this. I think this is the way we came out. Yeah. Right. Um... Okay. 
We are good. Um, speed up time. Perfect. And then we do that. And... This is the room with the murals. Where are you, Sephiroth? Oh, there he is. So cold. Always by your side. Come. Splendid. The treasure house of knowledge. I don't understand what the fuck you're saying. Look well. At what? At which adds to the knowledge of... I am becoming one with the planet. Mother, it's almost time. Soon we will become one. How do you intend to become one with the planet? It's simple. Once the planet is hurt, it gathers spirit energy to heal the in in injury. The amount of that energy gathered depends on the size of the injury. What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think how much energy would be gathered. You can see how, like, fucking slow he is right now. The center of that injury will be me! All that boundless energy will be mine! By merging with all the energy of the planet, I'll become a new life form, a new existence. Melding with the planet, I will cease to exist as I am now, only to be reborn as a god to rule over every soul. An injury power enough, a powerful enough to destroy the planet, injure the planet. Behold that mural, the ultimate destructive magic, meteor. That'll never happen. It's like, fuck you, you will. Where are you, Sephiroth? Cloud! Here is the first sign that Cloud is not in his right mind. Cloud! Hey, Cloud. <laughs> Black Materia. <laughs> Call Meteor. Cloud, get a hold of yourself! Cloud? I'm cloud how should i <laughs> it goes through all his checklists of all of his emotions i remember i remember my way <sighs> cloud hmm, what's wrong is something wrong it's nothing so don't worry about it right cloud it's nothing sephiroth got away don't worry about it. I understood what he was saying. So this must be Meteor, right? Some sort of disaster? Looks like something's gonna fall from the sky. This must be magic, just what Sephiroth was saying. The ultimate destructive magic, Meteor. It finds small drifting planets with its magic. And then collides with them. The planet may get wiped out entirely. Sephiroth? And not me. <laughs> it's a giant Durgan. Then I'm gonna hit with a bunch of meteors. That was hard. I think a dragon arm looks pretty good too. A side of Sephiroth? No, he's gone. Bahamut! What is this? Something written on it. B L A K C K. <laughs> I can't even make the joke. Black materia? <laughs> Bitch, you can read! <laughs> hey, black materia. What should we do? Let's take it. Oh shit! Wait a minute. I'll ask. 
I don't understand. What? Really? You guys are fucking jokesters. <laughs> they said that the temple is the black materia. What? This whole building is the black materia. This huge fucking temple is materia? So no one could take it. It's pretty hard. See, this is a model of the temple. And inside is a device which gets smaller each time you solve the puzzle. As the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too. Until it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. So if we solve the puzzle, the black material will get smaller and smaller and we can take it out? Yes, but there's one thing. You can only answer the puzzles from here. So anyone who solves the puzzles will be crushed by the temple. Ah, those sneaky fuckers. Then just leave it. If we don't take it, neither can Sephiroth. No, we gotta think of a way to get it out. Because the plot wouldn't progress any further if we didn't. <laughs> it's... But he does make a good point. There are a bunch of flunkies that can come in here and just f fuck themselves over. This place isn't safe. So I'll touch it again. So what are we going to do? Who do we know who has a stuffed body who could easily just reform himself if he wanted to? Hi, this is Fuckface. I overheard the whole story. Don't forget about me. Everything you said makes perfect sense. You can use my stuffed body for the future of the planet. We can't let Sephiroth get his hands on the black materia. We can't let the Shinra get it on, get their hands on it either. But Cloud, fuck you. Fine. All right, leave it to me. I'll be waiting at the exit. I love how I'm, I was about to say double speed, but it's not double speed. It's fucking triple speed! <laughs> Second hand's gone, and this is why you have to do everything before you go into that room, because otherwise, you ain't doing shit. Knock, knock! This isn't good. Cloud! Uh, oh shit! Great gospel. Fire supposed to do anything? I should probably pay attention to this. Man, doing this the right way sucks.
Well, the game's like, how dare you actually do that? Sorry to keep you waiting. It's me. I'll handle the rest. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, Cloud. Say something. I'm not good at this. I understand. I feel the same, too. Watch you read our fortunes. So that's right. I haven't done that in a while. So excited. Right or wrong. It's still the same old me. Now what should I predict? Let's see how compatible Cloud and I are. That'll cost you exactly one date. Here I go. This isn't good. I can't say it. Poor Tifa. No, tell me. I promise I won't get mad. If that's so, then I'll tell you. Looks good. You're perfect for each other. Air Star and Cloud Star, they show a great future. I'll be your matchmaker, preacher. I'll do whatever you want me to. You can call me when it happens. Thank you for believing me and knowing I was a spy. This is your final, final farewell. Be strong, Kate Smith. There's usually music playing here, but um, I fucked up. <laughs> she told me to be strong. Ow. What happened? Still can't. I can still move. This must be it. The ancient did sure did a great job making this. I can protect the planet too. I'm kind of embarrassed. There's plenty of stuffed toys like my body around, but there's only one me. Don't forget me, even if there's another Kate Sith that comes along. Goodbye then. I'm off to save the, I'm off to save the planet. There's the black materia. I'll keep watch. As long as we have this, Sephiroth won't be able to use Meteor. Can you guys use it? Nope, you can't use it right now. You need great spiritual power to use it. You mean lots of spiritual energy? That's right. One person's power alone won't do it. It's somewhere special, where there's plenty of the planet's energy. Oh, yeah. The Promised Land. The Promised Land. No, but Sephiroth is different. He's not an ancient. He should be able to find the Promised Land. Ah, but I have. I'm far superior to the ancients. Became a traveler of the life stream and gained the knowledge and the wisdom of the ancients. I've also gained the knowledge and wisdom of those after the extinction of the ancients. Soon I will create the future. I won't let you do that. The future is not just yours. <laughs> I wonder. Wake up. Shut up. The noise. There, Cloud. Good boy. No! Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. That's all you can do. Yes, run away from Sephiroth. There you go. So, I just had an epiphany here. So, um... Uh, I guess, spoiler alert... No, don't go away. Um, so, we're about to give this black materia to Sephiroth. Okay? We just did that. Right? Um, let me finish the scene and then I'll say what I'm going to say. Cloud, are you alright? I gave the black materia to Sephiroth! Why did you do that? Tell me, Aerith. Cloud, be strong, okay? Oh, what have I done? Cloud, you haven't done anything. It's not your fault. I'm... 
Oops, looks like I came at a bad time. What are you doing? Clyde, you bitch! Like I just knocked him the fuck out. What'd I do? I don't remember anything. My memory since when is everything a dream? Don't leak me. Eris theme? Nope, sector. Oh, Eris house. Actually, this might be Eris theme. Cloud, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry for what happened. Don't worry about it. Can't help it. Oh. Then why don't you really worry about it? And let me handle Sephiroth. Cloud, you take care of yourself. So I don't have a breakdown, okay? What is this place? This forest leads to the city of the ancients. So this is called the Sleeping Forest. It's only a matter of time before Sephiroth uses the meteor. That's why I'm going to protect it. Only a survivor of the Cetra like me can do it. Seekers just up here. At least it should be. I feel it. It feels like I'm being led by something. I'm going now. Bye bye. Wait. Hmm. She's going to interfere. She could be a difficult one, don't you think? Wouldn't it be a shame if someone murdered her face? <laughs> you look like you're having a nightmare. How are you feeling? Not good. Better keep it to yourself. You know, Cloud Earth's gone. Everyone's out looking for Aerith. City of the Ancients. Aerith is heading there. By herself? Why the fuck should you do that? Here we're going too. Only the Ancients, only Aerith can save us from the meteor. We must go. What if something happens? If Sephiroth finds her, she's in trouble. Sephiroth already knows. Why are we still sitting around? Let's go. No, I might lose it again. If Sephiroth comes near me, I might. Yeah, god damn it. It's because you, Sephiroth, got the black material, you fucking bitch. My fault. I know you got problems, how we all do, but you don't even understand yourself. You gotta understand that I ain't getting off this fucking train. How we come this far? How are we gonna. Aren't you gonna set up with Sephiroth? No. No! No! <laughs> I'm afraid. Goddamn jackass, it's where you are. Just think about it. how many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. They go on living. They don't run away. That's how it is. Cloud, you come with us. I believe you. Cloud? Wait a minute, Tifa. Give him a little time. He has to decide this on his own. I'm afraid to find out the truth, but why? So, Aerith is gone. Completely. Out of your party. However, all her materia was given back to you, luckily. The game isn't that much of a dick. Twenty-seven... Drains half fire, cold, and lightning. Gigas has no growth. Uh, let's give Tifa that. And then Tifa, you can also have... I forget what is coming up. Oh, hell yeah.
sure. People are so worried that they stay by your side until you woke up. You sure do have good friends. Cloud, hey, how are you? Just want to know which is going to be. You want to find out about yourself or you're too afraid to find out? Either way, if you stay around here, you're all you're going to do is worry. Even if you do know guys do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, it happens, it happens. I'll go upstairs and smack your fucking head up. Cloud, be all right. We're with you. Happens, don't worry about it. Shut the fuck up, you little bitch. And yes, the tiny Bronco is right there. All right. Um, so there are a bunch of different places we could go right now. Dude, my buggy. for Condor. Um... Something I want to do, do. Sorry, there's something I want to check. Shut up. Sure. So I can't buy the stables yet. All right. All right. That is my question. Um, all right. Then that's useless. Um, all right. So this part. This is one of the parts I always have trouble with. I think we have to go to the northern continent. If I'm not mistaken, which I easily could be. I found it, Mom. You proud of me? <laughs> Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. 
You can start excavating if you want us to. We're looking for the rare heart. Obviously, there's something in the game that tells you where to go, but... I think I know where it is. Southwest of the tent. See, I knew it was in up here. I just always forget where to put it. That was bullshit. Fucking thank you, finally! Jesus Christ. So, if you were to come into this part right here, without that Lunar Heart, it would be like, um, you need to get the fuck out of here. And you would just go in circles. Um, I knew it was there. Water Ring. That's a hint. I actually want to listen to the music here. All right, we're going to turn on... Um, we'll turn on random encounters just for a little bit. Um, I feel like... Turning on random encounters in new areas is a good thing because it shows us, it shows me like what's here and it'll show everyone who's watching what's here. But I will eventually turn it off. Also, I'm a dirty fucking cheater and it really doesn't fucking matter. This part right here. It's going to be important later. Right now, it's not. 
drains cold attacks. sworn there was um yeah this is going to become important later Also, I think it's in here. Is it bad? Sure, why not? Like it matters. I feel it. Cloud, what is it? Earth's here. So is Sephiroth. It's not an excuse, I just feel it in my soul. We better get up off our lazy asses. See this yellow piece of thing right here? Third enemy skill. There are four in the game. However, it is a pain in the ass to get all four. That's the way out. Oh, it's the last thing we haven't done yet. Earth's voice coming from there. Yes, in order to progress, you actually have to sleep. If you've ever seen Advent Children, this looks familiar. There is also a green material up there for Comet. Right, we're turning we're, we're slowing this down because this part oh boy if Sephiroth going through the flames into Nibelheim is the most iconic scene from this game and probably one of the most iconic scenes in video game history this next part probably 1a in that same category and i don't want to do it it's also supposed to be 54 degrees out hi Tomorrow. It's supposed to be 54. It is fucking 44 degrees out right now. Aerith. Cloud's like, nope, I got this. <laughs> no, I don't. Fuck this. <laughs> Here we go. One of the biggest spoilers in video game history, right here. Cloud, Barrett, stop it! I mean, Terry Barrett said stop it. <sighs> what are you making me do? Well, 
one of the few times that warning has come up. Witness. Aerith. This can't be real! Do not worry, soon the girl will become part of the planet's energy. All that's left is to go north. The promised land awaits for me over the snowy fields. There will become... Can't even say that. Shut up! You're a dick! <laughs> Aerith is gone. Aerith no longer talk, no longer cry, laugh, get angry. What about us? What are we supposed to do? What is this pain? My fingers are tingling. My mouth is dry. My eyes are hurting. Several is like, are you getting sappy on me, bitch? Of course, what do you think I am? Stop that thing if you're sad. There's no need to act as if you're angry either. Test cloud, you are. Just fucking suplexed fucking Genova. Yes, this is Genova Life, I believe. That um, water ring was for this fight because oh, she's fucking reflecting my shit. She is cold magic. As you can see, it's just, it's, I'm draining it, I'm absorbing it. Don't do Aqualung on her because, uh, she's water, so, obviously. Because you are a puppet! And that was Genova saying that. Also, the fact that Aerith's theme is playing this entire time.
that was the end of disc one. So back in the day, you had a cat's tail in your face. You're just going to shove your butt in my face? Is that what's happening here? So yes, that was that was the end of disc one. Um, and um, there, there are two... Get down. Um, there are two spoilers... Um, in video games that I was able to yoy, find out for myself. The first was this, uh, the first was the chapter six reveal in Link's Awakening that the island is a dream. <clears throat> and that if you awaken the windfish, the whole island would disappear. That's something the island tells you uh, right before Dungeon 6. The second one was this one. Um, I have such an interesting history with Final Fantasy 7. Um, I, um, I associate this game a lot with my dad and the reason being is, um, when I was, I want to say 12, um, one of his friends that he knew, um, this was like right after my parents had divorced and separated and all that fun stuff. Um, no, you're going to get down because bye -bye. my parents had already divorced and they were um, separated. And <clears throat> um, um, I used to go with him on weekends. nose gets so bad this time of year so yeah when I was when I was 12 my um, my dad was living in this like motel and I would go over on weekends and this friend that he knew this this woman friend that he knew had uh, a son as well I never met these people I don't think anyway I don't remember meeting these people I think I remember who who the woman was but I don't think I can't remember for sure and the one person I could ask is is dead unfortunately he passed away um, but her son had gotten this game um, and for some reason just it wasn't clicking with him so she asked my dad if maybe I would want it And he's like, sure. You know, why not?
So he was like, sure, why not? So she goes and grab he goes and grabs the game from her and comes back and I and I start playing it and for some reason I just it wasn't it wasn't digging with me. I I wasn't digging it. So I put it away and I um I just didn't touch it for a while. I figured, you know, maybe give it another shot maybe down the road but um yeah i uh i i did i wasn't digging it and um about six months later i picked it back up i want to say it was like six months i saw you in here where are you Um, and started playing it, and I, it just it clicked that one, that time, and I played it, and I played it, and I played it, and I got to the end of disc one, disc one, and that scene played out, and I was like, oh, couldn't believe it, and you know this character that I've been spending the entire game leveling up and getting to know and figuring out was just dead and it was a shock and one of the like one of the best like best and coolest things that like I ever experienced in a video game I wanted to show this off this is the manual the reason it's open is because right in the middle of it is the scene is is the Sephiroth scene but yeah I um still have my original copy and it, it is my original copy and you can tell because if you look it's got a crack but it's got a giant crack on the back this thing has seen better days maybe someday I would get a replacement jewel case for this but um, having that giant crack just is is I, it makes it more nostalgic for me, honestly. But, yeah, it is a... It's a big boy. It's got three discs. Back in the day when we used to have discs in our... For our games. So, yeah, that's my original copy. I got to the end of disc one, and... Um, I think I got stuck in the Great Gl Glacier, which we're about to hit next... And I gave up, and I decided that um, the new game was coming out, and I wanted to see what that was like. So um, I rented it from Blockbuster and played it and was like, okay, it's going to be the same thing as this. It's going to have materia. It's going to have leveling up. It's going to have all this. It did not. This game did not. And this game, Final Fantasy VIII, was, um, I should take that off. I really should take that off. If I'm going to take it off, I probably should get it, like, yeah. This game, I also got to the end of disc one. And at first didn't like it and if a certain streamer who i follow all the time heard that that he would probably be like wtf but at first i did not like this game why did i not like this game because it wasn't this but over the years i have definitely grown to appreciate this game and the series itself so so much so that i also have this one which i want to finish someday I want to finish this one, and I want to finish this one. But, yeah, so look, the, these are some of the few um, original copies of games I own. 
for the PlayStation. I don't have many PlayStation games. The PlayStation games I have, I think I, I think I have a Crash game, I have a Spyro game, and I have a, I have two Gex games. Which Gex, I love Gex, but that's a whole other topic, and then a whole other day. So yeah, we just dealt with the biggest, one of the biggest spoilers in video game history. One of the th when things that when people say, "Why do you like Final Fantasy VII?" Most people will try not to spoil it for you and then there's those dick bags that do but if you are here watching this you probably already do so listen to me i'm cloud x soldier born in nibelheim i came to set up with sephiroth what's going on i came here by my own free will so i thought however to tell the truth, I'm afraid of myself. There's a part of me I don't understand. That part of me, uh, that part made me give the black material to Sephiroth. If he hadn't stopped me, Earth might have been. There's something inside me, a person who's not really me. That's why I should quit the journey before I do something terrible. Ooh. But I'm going. He destroyed my hometown five years ago, killed Aerith, and is now trying to destroy the, destroy the planet. I'll never forget that son of a bitch. I must go on. I have a favor to ask. Will you come with me? <laughs> to save me from doing something terrible? I don't know, man. You're kind of fucked up. I don't know how Aerith tried to save the planet from Meteor. I guess now we'll never know. But... Still have a chance. We must get that black materia back before Sephiroth uses it. Let's go. End of part one. So that is where disc one would have ended back in the day. The game would have given you a splash screen and said, please insert disc two. would have inserted disc two you would have you would have legit opened the, the game you would have opened the playstation taken out disc one and put in disc two sephiroth i wonder which way he went ah! hey you all right hmm. sephiroth said to me head north past the snow fields And we rest. Now there's enemies. So it sets death sentence when it dies. That's awesome. Alright, that's not gonna get annoying. There is an accessory that stops you from dying, but. not worth it. Alright, I'm going to turn off... Okay, how do I get over there? There we go. Maybe? God, I 
know there's a way up there. That's what I thought. Go to left. The fuck game. Your game, fuck you. That's what I have to say to you. You know what I love? I love that you can't see, because right here, in the black space, are, um... Um, the, like, buffs that you can do in this game. Alright, um... I was wondering if I was going to run into an enemy. Holy shit! He's a big boy. Ooh, not dead. Okay. Actually, I forget if there's something down here. That would be a big fat no, Steve. All right, we are turning, um, getting to the point where when I was a kid I got stuck welcome to the snowy area of the game we are going to be coming back here later for this right here yeah see these things right here yeah, um, when you are chocobo fucking, um, these give you the best chocobos in the game. 
So you'll be spending a quite a bit of time up here. Actually, there's also a guy over there, I think, that sells the best, like, chocobo stuff, so. Welcome to Icicle... Yeah, Icicle Inn. Come over here. This is not where I meant to be. Weapon shop. My word. All right, we'll take one of those. 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 Take one of those and those and those and those. Oh, I forgot there's a third one. HPMP. You can take Odin and that. And you can take a frickin' Titan. I believe it's... No, nope, it's not this one. My boy got hurt right about the time we moved here. I never should have let him snowboard. It is not this one. We're gonna take that map. <laughs> Fuck your map! Here, drinking the vaccine. I think this is Zangin. Uh, it's nearly impossible to reach the northern limits without a map. If you're thinking about going to the northern limits, you better take that map on the wall. <laughs> what nerve? You already fucking took it! I was supposed to tell you to take it! Too bad, my map. Um, I think it's this place. It is. Okay, so we are going to... Here we go. Play the video. The original crisis. Camera's ready. Then Ilfana, please tell us about the Cetra. 2,000 years ago, our ancestors Cetra had heard the cries of the planet. The first one to discover the planet's wound was the Cetra at the Nolspole. Tell us, Afalna, where is the land called the Nolspole? The Nolspole refers to this area. Then Cetra began a planet reading. What does a planet reading entail? I can't explain it very well, but it's like having a conversation with the planet. It said something fell from the sky, making a large wound. Thousands of Cetra pulled together trying to heal the planet, but due to the severity of the wound, it only it was only able to heal itself over many years. Do the ancients rather the Cetra have special powers to heal the planet? No, it's not that kind of power. The life force of living things of this planet become the energy. The Cetra tried desperately to cultivate the land so as not to diminish the needed energy. Even so close to the North Cave, the snow never melts. Is it because the planet's energy is gathered here to heal its energy injury? Yes, the energy that was needed to heal the planet withered away the land. Then the planet the planet tried to persuade the Cetra to leave the Null Spool, but we'll find to take a break. I'm all right. When the Cetra were preparing to par uh, part with the land they loved, then it appeared. It looked like our dead mothers and our dead brothers, showing us specters of their past. Who was the person that appeared at the North Cave? I have no idea. That's the one who injured the planet, or the crisis from the sky, as we called it. It first approached as a friend, deceived them, and then finally gave them the virus. The Cetra were attacked by the virus and went mad, transforming them into monsters. Just as it had the Null Spool. It approached other Cetra clans and infected them with the virus. We don't look well. Let's call it a day. That is Aerith's mom. 
Can you comment on the thing called weapon? Yes, Professor. The one the Professor most took for Cetra was named Genova. That is the crisis from the sky. The planet knew it had to destroy the crisis from the sky. You see, as long as Genova exists, the planet will never be able to fully heal itself. Back then, weapon was a weapon that the planet produced on its own will. Yes, but there's no record of weapon ever being used. Small number of the surviving Cetra defeated Genova and could find it. But the planet produced weapon, but it was no longer necessary to use it. So weapon no longer exists on this planet? Weapon cannot vanish. It remains asleep somewhere on the planet. Even though Genova is confined, it could take back. It could come back to life at some time. The planet has not fully healed itself. It's keeping watch on Genova. Where is Weapon? I don't know. I can't hear the voice of the planet well. Times have changed. The planet is probably watching the situation closely. Thank you, Ilfana. That'll be all for today. What are you doing, Professor? I mean, honey. Oh, I'm thinking of taping it on video, but the video is not working right now. What are you going to tape? Is there still something I haven't mentioned? No, that's not it. I'm going to return my beautiful daughter. And when she's sleeping, her face looks like an angel. First, we have to figure out her name. We can take the video later. They've already decided. If it's a girl, then it'll be Aerith. That's that. So selfish, but Aerith is a good name. It's a good name, considering it came out of that forgetful head of yours. Right? Oh, the videotape. Video again? You just got through taping. Please don't say it that way. It's our lovely daughter, both yours and mine. Don't you want to capture her child on a videotape? If you keep doting on her like that, she won't grow up to be strong. Aerith is different from the other children. I wonder what dangers await her. Never say that. I'll protect you and Aerith no matter what. You and Aerith are my only treasures. I'll never let you go. I feel so better now, darling. If I hadn't met you, I... Who could that? I was just about to. Damn it! How dare they intrude on our private time together? I'll send them away. Yes, at once. Who the devil? It's them! I've been searching for you, Elfana, or should I say Cetra? Oh, look, it's the fucking asshole! Long time to see, Professor Gast. Fucking asshole! How did you know? Believe me, I had to turn over a stone or two to find you. Two years I waited. That's how much I wanted this new sample. <laughs> a new sample? You don't mean Aerith. Hmm, Aerith, what a nice name. Instead, I'm severing all ties with the Shinra. Odro, please leave. Please, Aerith has nothing to do with it. All you want is me, right? I need all of you for my experiment. You understand, don't you, Professor Gas? You changed the future of the planet. Don't worry, Alfana. I'll take care of this. Please don't put up a fight. I don't want to harm any harm to come to my precious sample. What a funny-looking camera. Guard, destroy it. Be careful with her. What are you doing, Professor? Alfana, take Aerith and run! Darling! Oh, and don't forget the child. Video. The Ancients. Weapon! Mound of treasure! Thank you, Professor. So, this is where Professor Gast and um, Ilfana had a love child named it Aerith. Tried to hide from Shinra. Don't get too close or it'll burn ya. Ow. 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 There's a snowworm at the Great Glacier that hates hot springs, but I think it's just a mascara feathers. So there is a um, summon materia in the Great Glacier, but I'm probably not going to find it. I am not going to take the time to try and find it. Steep gray past here. Damn, I was just being nice. Look at those people over there. It looks like trouble. 
There they are, hurry. Yes, ma'am. What? What? That was a meow. Need to clear a path for me. I won't you I won't let you go any further. What's down there? It's a cigarette. Really doesn't matter. You really got guts messing up boss like that. What are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, boss saying that wasn't a Sephiroth, did it? Don't think you can fool me. I'm not lying. It was Sephiroth. Don't try it, so I'll never forget it. Oh, man. That was lucky. <laughs> Elena! What the? They sure are weak for Shinra. It's gonna be trouble. Anyway, you'll need a snowboard to get down the hill. You wanna learn how to ride one? Nah. Alright, fathead, don't blame me if you get hurt! You gonna go lay down in your bed? You gonna go lay down in your bed? Village under martial law. Oh, we need a snowboard. Who has a snowboard that can't snowboard anymore? Get her out of my snowboard. Now I can't go for a while. I'll give you my snowboard. We got the snowboard. Now we can snowboard. All right, fat head. Oh my god! Oh, I crashed. As you can see, I suck at this uh, mini game. There we go. <laughs> fucking face first into the fucking wall right there. So I always, I think I go, because there's, um, there's three splits coming up, and I think I usually go left, left, left. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do down here, um, but I am, I don't really care right now. I'm not trying to 100% this game this time. There's a few things I do want to do, like I do want to get maybe a gold chocobo. <laughs> that 
That was also perfect. I think the only, like, big, um... One hundred percent, like thing I want to do is get a gold chocobo, because getting a gold chocobo allows me to get Knights of the Round, which is a very good summon. And that's the only reason you get a gold chocobo. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't hit a tree sooner than that. This is the worst part, honestly. Ace of Chocobo. Bunch of chickens. Oh boy. 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 This hurts. I feel like this was the cool 90s thing to do. Because if you recall, Sonic had one in Sonic 3. Ugh! we're stuck of course yeah i guess so where do we land it's like we didn't even jump at all we got a map right look at your map by pressing square i don't know where we landed actually So this part sort of doesn't matter. gonna get stuck we're gonna god damn it we're gonna get too cold before anything happens Thank you. 
will take the safety bet. We're lasting surprisingly long here. It's not going to matter at this point. Will I make it? Oh, hot. Oh, shit. You have to touch the hot spring to talk to her. And I collapsed. Damn, I thought I was going to make it to the hut. You awake? Collapse to the Great Glacier. It's a miracle you're alive. My name's Halzoff. I've been living here for 20 years. If I'm heading north, you better listen to me. I might go to the next room. Have you ever heard of those challenge the cliff? No. There's an old legend that says that something fell from the sky here a long time ago. It's supposed to have pushed the land up and formed this cliff. 20 years ago, Yamsky and I braved this cliff to see what was on the other side, but we weren't prepared for it. We never dreamed the temperature would be so low. The cliff had a biting cold wind that lowers your body temperature. Yamsky was below me. He had his own rope, and I didn't even notice. I've lived here ever since, challenging the cliff and providing warning to and shelter to the fell climbers. If you're going to climb the cliff, you need to take two precautions. Check your route. It's hard to find because of all the snow. Warm yourself up when you get to a ledge. Understand? Better rest before you head out. And we will save. You know what I've been thinking? What is it? 
Seeing a place like this makes you realize how awesome nature is. But if anyone told you to live here, I'd tell them, you know, go fuck yourself. When you think of the way that Shinra seems so bad. I'm saying Shinra not bad. Secure the and come up later. Yes, you can actually change your team here if you want. But I'm going to stick with Barrett and Tifa. I think you don't want to get below 32. Obviously, this is Celsius. Because if someone was at 32 degrees Fahrenheit... They wouldn't be alive right now. <laughs> there are normally enemies in here, but I've turned them off. Also, I love the, the chests in here. And yes, that is necessary to do. It opens it fast. That path. There's going to be plenty of uh, battles in here, so I'm not too, too worried about it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this area. Get to the next area. And call it a name. Yes, you have to defeat an icicle. Because why not? It falls. We are not going to jump. Oh, I want to see Tifa suplex an icicle. we'll do that next one. No. <laughs> we fucking suplex the icicle. Love it. I didn't think there was going to be an animation for it. I'm not going to lie. That hurt. I missed like a bunch of them. Could drop down to the drum, to the room below, but then you mix out a uh, mega elixir. Uh, yes. 
So if you jump down here, you can actually, if you did all four, you could actually get up to that area right there. Hitting all those icicles um, allows you to go across that pond. Sword. What level should you be at at Gaia's cliff? Typical levels FF7. So by the time you finish disc one, you should be at level 35. Uh, you could beat the game at level 55 to 60. So right now, if I didn't get any... Um, if I didn't get any random encounters right now, I think I would be fine. By the way, this shouldn't work. Me just shaking my body like that. That's not going to warm me up. I'm sorry, game. But you're full of shit. Ugh. Fight time. another Durgan. Suplex! Ice breath? Oh, you have double. Wow, you hit... You hit the right one for both of those. One has ice breath and one has fire breath. Why did that get added to my calendar? You can go you can go fuck yourself. Woo! I had a panic attack for a second. I got a notification that says DoorDash suspends operations through Saturday. I'm like, no, don't do that. No, it's uh, Michigan and Indiana. Which is where the storm is probably the most brutal right now.
right here. It's a cutscene. Welcome to the North Crater. You hear this? You hear this wonderful music track? <laughs> you better get fucking used to it. <laughs> An old crater. Something fell out of the sky and crashed down here, leaving a scar on the planet. So all this energy is gathered here for the planet to heal itself. Sephiroth took that energy and is trying to use meteor. Next time, the wound won't be so small. I guess we'll turn off. Okay, I regret my decision immediately. Those are bombs. Bombs are horrible. Pack to Sephiroth. You're going after Sephiroth, aren't you? You've lost a lot because of Sephiroth. Let's go. All right. I think that is a good spot to save. And with that, another stream ends. And I will be back tomorrow. So I'll be back tomorrow for, uh, we'll be doing Mario plus rabbits. So we plan, plan, plan that a little bit more. Hey, Namora, how you doing? Um, and then we will continue this on Saturday? I think that's the plan. We're going to be playing Mario plus Rabbids and Final Fantasy 7 until the end of the year. And then there's two differences. There's two different things that are going to happen in the next two weeks. So, yeah, we're going to play Mario plus Rabbids on tomorrow. We're going to play Final Fantasy VII on Saturday, which is Christmas Eve. And then Sunday, I'm going to play God of War and Elden Ring, which I need to figure out how I'm going to play Elden Ring. Because I don't own it yet. Hopefully it's on sale. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week, we'll play Final Fantasy VII. Hopefully we'll finish by the end of the week. I imagine we will. And then Mario plus Rabbits on Tuesday and Thursday. And then multiplayer games on the Saturday of New Year's Eve. Triumphant return of Jackbox. Come on, mouse. Work for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.